So guys, lately in the past few um, couple of days, I've been encountering these types of women um, called Karens. Like, their name may or may not be Karen, who the hell cares, but still, like, it doesn't really describe a person, it describes a personality of, like, a crazy woman, usually with, like, some bowl cut or something, and is all gonna act like a, cra and is all gonna just act like a crazy, insane person who, if their way doesn't go, they're gonna act like a five-year-old and be like, no, I wanted to be this way, it's not this way, so now I'm mad. It's gonna be all like that, and they're just like, can I speak to the manager? And then you're just like, this is the manager, and then they're just like, what the fuck, I guess I'll die then. But all that stupid stuff, and there's always just um, weirdos like pissing me off and shit. Because, I mean, I'm gonna be telling you a few stories about them. And so, let's see, this story happened about um, two days ago, I was at um, Jewel, and I was just getting, um, some food or something. I don't remember what I was getting. I was getting probably like a granola bar, or just maybe some freaking I don't even remember what I was getting just like um I had literally had one item and this Karen was standing in the express lane of Jewel and if you don't know what the express lane means express if you're too stupid to understand for this one Karen express means fast and that means you'll check out within like under a minute and this person had 50 items 50 Express lane is recommended for 10 items or less and if you don't have 10 items then you're then they have to tell you you have to go to this other area they tell you you have to go to the regular lane, and um, they're legally allowed to kick you out if you don't do what they say. So I, I politely asked, I was like, um, excuse me, ma'am, I only have one item, and you have like a few more. Can I go in front of you just so it'll be faster? And she was like, no, you gotta wait your turn like everybody else. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry, because I didn't want to deal with anything. I'm not like a little bitch boy. I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to deal with anything because I wasn't going to, I knew she, what type of person she was right away. So I, I was thinking in my head, this fucking bitch has problems. She needs to go to the physical therapist before I kick her ass. But so then we ended up going to the store or whatever. And after that, um, I didn't see a crazy person like that again. But this time I was actually at the game at a GameStop a while ago and this is a completely newer story that happened I was at the GameStop a while ago like two months ago I think and I was just really bored so I just decided to to go there and I got some cool Wii games and for pretty cheap and stuff so like I walked in without a mask just because I forgot I was supposed to be wearing one I didn't know if those are those places that would literally freak out if you had no mask on so then the guy goes like oh you have to be wearing a mask I'm like oh yeah I'm sorry I put it on right away so then um, this Karen walks in, and she had the Karen haircut, and I was like, okay, here we go, I'm just gonna stare at the Xbox games menacing, intently and menacingly, just pretend that she's not real, because I already know what unholy hell is about to be unleashed under this universe, so, and the, the poor 19-year-old woman at the cash register didn't really know what to do, and just ended up getting angry, and like, just kinda... Um, pissed off and stuff, and I was just like, okay, this is stupid, but anyway, the woman, what happened was, she walked in with her little eight-year-old daughter, or whatever, and she didn't have a mask on, neither of them did, so the, the woman politely said, like, excuse me, ma'am, I'm so sorry, you have to be wearing a mask right now, and then she goes, I don't have to wear a mask, and she go, the guy said, um, yeah, you do, I mean, the woman said, um, yeah, you do, because otherwise, we're not allowed to help you, and she goes, I don't have to wear a mask, like, come on, seriously, like, well, why not, and the person was like, well, we have a disposable run one right here it's just totally free you can just have it and keep it or whatever throw it away keep it do whatever you want with it and the woman's like i don't want to i'm not wearing that mask at all it's not the law you can't make me wear it and i mean it's technically not the law but i mean with a lot of places it sort of is because they'll kick you out or whatever and there the 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 person was like and they said this um the person's like i need to be here right now because it's my daughter's birthday and I want to make sure that she has the best birthday ever. So I need one game, please. And the person was like, I'll be happy to give you that game if you put on a mask. And she's like, I'm not wearing a mask. You can't make me. And then the person was like, well, you can shop online. The one was like, I don't want to shop online. It's easier to come here in person. Lady, if you're not, fu you're fucking retarded. You're fucking stupid. You're the fucking stupidest person in the world. Do you know why you're the stupidest person in the world? Online shopping is not something. Thing that's bad. Online shopping is a luxury. A luxury. You can literally shop on eBay or Amazon or whatever, the dark web, whatever the hell you want, in your bed without leaving the, the bed at all, without leaving your house. You can literally 
buy video games naked and they'll be shipped directly to your fucking door. This person is all acting stupid and it's the 21st century. Like, get used to it. I hate shopping outside in public. I hate it. I only have to do it if I want it because I can't, like, it. I don't even know. I can't get, like, fresh sandwiches delivered in my house. That's why I have to do it and shit. Online shopping is a luxury, not a chore. You fucking retard. Did you even go to school at all? I mean, honestly, what's wrong with you? Do you have some kind of brain problem? It's just what I was thinking for the whole time, and the person the person was staring at them kind of like, mm-hmm. Like, yeah, I agree. So then the, the person's like, I'm going to call the cops. And then she's like, okay, go hunt the cops. They can't make me wear it. And I was like, well, I know for a fact they can't make you wear it, but they can't kick you out of the store. Because um, I've never been kicked out of a store, but I've witnessed people get kicked out of a store before. So the cops were called, and I was there the whole time when this is happening or whatever. And the cops come, and they're like, excuse me, ma'am, you have to leave right now or put on a mask. And they said, no, I don't. And she, the person was like, we are authorized to tell you you have to leave the store, otherwise we're going to arrest you. And the person was all acting crazy, so they made her leave the store. And I was like, okay, well, that was just the most traumatic 15 minutes of my life. And then when I just le- check, check, tried to check out, I'm oh, sorry, I think that's my phone vibrating. Uh, never mind. But anyway, um, the person I said that, and um, that was pretty crazy. But anyway, that's the end of the story. Have a very good day, guys. I'll see you.